Hi. Are you getting error code LS0013 when trying to launch your Fortnite game? In this video, I will show you a few possible ways to fix this error. Before we start, take your time to hit that like button, and I will be right back. Okay. First thing I will suggest you to do, like always, is to restart your computer, and see if this resolved your issue. If restart did not help, we will try to verify the installation. To do this, you need to open your Epic Games Launcher, and go to your library. Next to your Fortnite game, click on this three dots and on drop-down menu, click on Verify. Depending how big your game files are, this process can take some time, so be patient and let the game be verified. After the game is verified, launch your game, and see if this fixed your problem. If you are still getting this error, then we will try the next method, and that is to clear the launcher web cache. First you need to exit your Epic Games launcher completely. Right-click on your Epic Games Launcher in System Tray, and select Exit. Now go to Start, right-click on it and select Run. Here type, Percentage Local App Data Percentage, and hit Enter. This window will open. Here find Epic Game Launcher folder, and then open it. Now open Saved Folder. Right-click on your webcache folder and select Delete. If you are getting message that file is in use, and you can't delete it, double-check to see if your Epic Games launcher is closed. After deleting your webcache folder, restart your computer, and launch your Fortnite, to see did this fixed your problem. If you are still getting this error, we will try next method and that is to disable administrator privileges on every Fortnite's executable files. Open your file explorer and go to this location. C Drive. Program Files. Epic Games. Fortnite. Fortnite Game. Binaries. And then Win64 folder. My Fortnite is installed on custom location. So I will go there. When you open Win64 folder, you will see these four executable files. Right-click on any of these files, and select Properties. Now click on Compatibility tab, and uncheck this box next to, Run this program as administrator. Click Apply and OK. Now do the same thing for the other three files. When you are done, launch Fortnite, and see if this fixed your problem. Last thing you can do, is try to disable background application, because some of them might be interfering with your Epic Games launcher. Right-click on your taskbar and select Task Manager. Up here click on Startup tab. Here you will see list of apps. You will have more or less than I do. Click on every app, that says enabled under the status, and then click here on disable. When you do that for all the apps on your list here, restart your computer and launch the game to see is this the cause of your problems. If your game works, then one of your apps on this list is causing problems to your Epic Games launcher. To find out which application is the problem, you will come here and turn them on, one by one. So you will enable startup for the first app, then restart your computer, and after that, you will launch your game. If the game works, you will come here and enable second one, and all the way until your game fails to start. Then you will leave disabled or uninstall last app you enabled here. Just make sure that this app is not running when you want to play Fortnite, if you don't want to uninstall it. 
With this, we came to the end of this video. I really hope that one of this methods helped you to fix your game. If it did, please hit that like button. And please subscribe to my channel with the bell on. So you can get notification when I upload my next, easy way tutorial. Bye.